This is the Captain 120 in white from Deepcool within the Gamer Storm sub brand. So, right off the bat, I want to bring your attention to this. It is indicated as a visual AOI. Now, I don't know whether Deepcool is remarketing and changing things at all. Perhaps they're going to have a performance range. But um, despite being marketed as a visual IOI, around the side of the box, there's actually an indication that you're good to go for overclocking as well. Nothing of interest really to mention on the actual packaging. You've got a detailed diagram for the sizes. Compatibility is everything Intel, everything AMD, because they use this universal backplate, which is suitable for all the brands. Obviously, 2011 just uses bolts. You just flip it over, um, and you've got bolts that go through and lock in with these simple clips. So you've obviously got that, all the mountain hardware, a little deep cool badge and that's pretty much it for the packaging so let's actually just get the cooler out and have a closer look so this is the product and yes it is basically a rehash of the original captain but now we've got black and white now the market has changed a lot over the last few months white is really up there at the forefront for motherboards graphics cards and then rgb which is absolutely dominating the market is going to work really well with a black and white product this is what separates this product from, let's be realistic, 99% of any other coolers. They all look the same, the blocks tend to just have logos and a few badges and a few tweaks here and there, whereas Deepcool have got a really, really unique design. We've got the tube that comes out and just breaks the mold. We've got posable tubes themselves. And then inside here, we've got an LED, which has a breathing effect as well. Mounting arms, you have to install these yourselves with screws at either side, different set for AMD and Intel. Now the tubes, they take an absolute immense amount of pressure before you can even get them anywhere near kink and so no concerns there. While I'm not a fan of anti-kink tubes, in this case it doesn't look too bad actually, it blends really sleep seamlessly. Now, I do believe the fan has had a little bit of tweak in terms of the colors. I think on the original black and red, it was just a, a black and red fan. So obviously we've got the black and white, that's more suited. The radiator, no change at all in terms of the performance. It's still the same aluminum or aluminum radiator as we had before. So first impressions are really good. I'll now get this installed. Now with the back plate that I mentioned a little bit earlier, that literally takes a few minutes, just choose AMD or Intel, put your bolt through, secure it down, everything is pretty generic and you can go ahead and set up your deep cool badge if you wanted to put that on your KS2. So if, in terms of comparison, the bulk of my coolers that I've had in my database are heatsinks. I've got a couple of 240s and 280 sealed units but only one or two 120s for comparison sake. So let's see how it did and wrap up. So then conclusion time for the Deep Cool Captain 120. Um, based on the charts alone, you should be able to pick off that this is a bit of a middle ground type of product. It's not a high performer, but it's only a 120 mil brand on there. The limiting factor is the fan. It's just not powerful enough. Now, it's a bit of a tough spot for Deep Cool because I've seen some of products in the past and I've been quite picky about that fans. Um, starting with the first few products I had, they were a little bit noisy and then they went too quiet. And this seems to be it's as close to the middle as I can expect them to do really but it's just not quite powerful enough to push it into the performance area so um, instantly my test bench is first gen as well you know the notoriously hot one so it's had quite a grueling test but when you look at the bigger picture against other products um, it does quite well its real sort of strengths are its visuals and that takes us full circle back to where we start this video it's, it's on the box, it's written right there. Deep Cool aren't making any sort of indication on that. It is a high performance product, so in that sense, I have to give them credit. I think the price point is pretty fair, but I have to base that on EU, EU and US 
prices because here in the UK I just can't find any and that's been an ongoing issue for a couple of years now with Equal. I really hope uh, UK retailer will pick up that stock and start pushing it out because they do produce some great products. Incidentally, the name of it slips my mind right now but I hope I get it right. I think this has actually been um, moved along to the side and I'm sure there's a newer version called the AX or something to that effect coming out where it's got a new mountain system. Um, some new fans so maybe that's what we what need to explore in uh, future videos but for now if it is available in your area and you do want a black and white themed all-in-one definitely go for it it's a solid product but do check around for that mentioned uh, new version because that's likely to filter out and then hopefully it'll replace this one and I'll hopefully look at that one down the line but that'll do it for today enough rambling as always detailed review was floating around somewhere there or there see you guys in the next one